So, you know, kind of wrapping up on, on this, so Google probably wants to be less dependent on the link graph as a whole, right? Because it's so manipulative. So. so they've got authorship now and social metrics. And to a greater or lesser extent, those don't seem to be helping too much in some different SERPs. Um, you know, it still seems about links and even kind of paid or manipulative type links still seem to be working in some cases that we see. It's a, you know, it's a never-ending game to chase that. But how big of a factor is, is something like authorship and Google Plus and circles? And how big is that going to be going forward? I think it's going to be huge. I think that right now Google is completely downplaying it to the point that they even suggest that it doesn't have that much of a role to play on ranking at all. But when you are logged in and you have people that you're friends with on Google+, Plus, you can clearly see that it is a primary factor for ranking some of the stuff. So it does happen for the logged in people. I think it will come in aggregate that at some point the sites that accumulated plus ones will, and that data will be used in the way that we use linked data now and that that will overtake it. Could be wrong, but that's where I think it's going to go. Um, what surprises me is that the search engines actually don't seem to have done more to try to get us there already. Mm -hmm. It seems like they have a, a long way to go, but that it's interesting that you say Google's downplaying it because if it's so, if it's really important to them, they want to keep it undercover as long as possible, which <laughs> seems a little bit, you know, controversial. You but. could say that. You could say, well, they don't want it to get out that plus ones are important. But I mean, when they told everybody to put plus one buttons on their yeah. websites, it was pretty, and, and specifically so that, that would help you, which they did at the time, yeah. rank better in Google. That kind of yeah. supposedly let the cat out of the bag. So yeah. I. I don't think it's a case that they're like trying to hold back so nobody discovers it. I think they just don't know how to process that data yet. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing to some degree with the linked data. They've had over a decade of, okay, we can use list linked data this way and then we'll adjust the signal this way. And in fact, that's the problem we have. They have put so much pipe work on this whole link system that it's this whole giant mm -hmm. labyrinth of, of things that keeps popping holes and blowing pipes yeah. here and there. Right. And yet, they still seem to find that easier than kind of going back to square one and saying, if we had to only have the social signal, how would we process all that mm -hmm. to begin with? That's really interesting. So thank you very much for being here. Sure. It's great talking with you, Danny. Thank you. And up next, we're going to be talking with Marshall Simmons. So until next time, SEO safe. Okay.